Hello, I am still in the beautiful Chinese village of Banraktai. In today's video, we're going to eat some delicious Yunnanese food. So let's pick things up from the restaurant. Hey again, good evening. I was gonna go somewhere else, but I was walking past this restaurant called Lijian Restaurant, and the lady called out to me, and she had such an amazing energy that I ended up saying I'm gonna eat here, so Welcome to Li Xiaom restaurant and we're going to try some Yunnanese food. The restaurant is just a few steps away from the lake, not actually that far from where I had the brownie earlier. And it looks incredibly basic and that is exactly how I like it. So I'm going to ask her what she recommends. Uh, the menu is quite simple too, but I'll ask her what she recommends and we'll probably order a few dishes and go from there. What is your name? Lixian. Lixian. Ka Lixian. What herb is this? Uh, English, Pabung. Chinese, Pab or, or Thai, Pabung. 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 Me English, no. Pabung. Mm. Tastes good. Yeah. The uh, uh, pork, pork mountain. Really good. Ah, pork. Pork mountain. No, 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 me hong song. Mountain, yeah. She's just given me a slice of dragon fruit, which normally, when I've had this in England, it tastes of absolutely nothing. But here, sweet and juicy. But look at the colour. How amazing is that? Mm. Spicy, spicy. Now I like spice, but I'm getting a little worried that every few minutes she just says spicy, spicy. So I have a feeling this one's going to be a hot one. She's also given me this to try. I'm not quite sure what it is. Oh. Oh, that is bitter. Pom pom, I think she said it was called. Oh, you can feel it. Pulling the side of your cheeks apart. Wow, what a flavour that is. I can't say I'd want to be eating more of them. Maybe when it's in a dish or in a soup, it's a bit better, but on its own. Oh. I've ordered myself a noodle soup. I'm not quite sure what comes with it. It just says rice noodle soup and then a tea leaf salad. So keeping on the theme of <laughs> sitting opposite tea plantations, I'm going to have a tea leaf salad too. I don't think she was joking when she said it was spicy. It looked absolutely on fire. I mean, look at that. So what do we have inside? We have a ton of different herbs. I don't even begin to pretend to know the name of them. Looks like tomato. This is tomato. Tomato, yeah, tomato. Yeah. cop and cup, tomato, pork, that pork fat that she was chopping up in there. Um, you have rice noodles and then this broth, which just look at the oil on top of it. And I presume an absolute ton of chili. And she's just given me a bit of lime, which I will squeeze into it. Get that mixed through. Now let's try it. Let's try that broth first. <laughs> Sorry, cup. Just look at it. Just a touch more of the lime juice, but wow. Flavor, the richness in that. It's not actually that spicy. <clears throat> okay, I can feel it on the back of the throat. <coughs> Why do I always say this? When I was with Gary, he told me fresh chilies hits immediately. Dried chilies, wait, 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 and then bang at the back of the throat. Clearly, there are dried chilies in this. But wow, the flavor of that broth. And the salty richness from that pork fat. 
very, very deep, rich, porky flavor. But she sliced it really thinly, so the fat has started to melt a little bit into the broth. And that's probably where you get some of that oil that's sitting on top. But then the tomatoey umami flavor, well, the umami flavor coming from the tomatoes, a touch of sweetness from that. And then the freshness from those herbs. What a fantastic bowl of noodles. And if you could hear banging in the background, that's they're chopping up the salad. I've ordered the tea leaf salad too, so that will come in a second. Maybe, maybe she took pity on me and didn't add as much chili as what she said she's going to do. So I'm going to add a little bit more of my own. And I think this one comes in fish sauce. So a touch of that in there. Squeeze more of that lime, just to balance out the saltiness that will come through from the fish sauce. Got my chopsticks. And let's try some of those noodles. Just look at those glass noodles. A slightly thicker rice noodle. Genuinely, one of the best bowls of noodles I've had so far in Thailand. Mm. Whoa. And those chilies that I added, they pack a punch, but in a good way. Alright, Mac. Thank you. Yes, <clears throat> yeah. I I think you went kind on me. So I'm having to add more chilies to my noodles. But with my salad, you can make more spicy. And that is a phrase I'm probably going to regret. She said this pork comes from the mountains around here. And it's better than down in the, <laughs> down in the valley of Mei Hong Son. And I'm not going to argue with her because... It is very, very tasty. So good. And, um, listen, people in Thailand are very friendly. That's called the land of smiles for a reason, right? But for some reason, this village just seems extra friendly. Everyone's smiling, everyone's waving, everyone's saying hello, especially the kids. I passed some kids earlier. And they were all... <clears throat> so happy to see me walk past. I was even, I was just holding the camera. I took the camera out and filmed him saying hello. But then this lady here is so friendly. The person at my guest house so friendly, so nice, so welcoming. Love that about Thailand. This place is, from what it seems, very quiet at night. I think a lot of people might just come here for the day <clears throat> and check it out, but it was quiet anyway. I've said this. In a lot of videos, Thailand is just very quiet right now. So I think the benefit of staying the night here is being able to come out and have a nice meal. And to get some cuisine which is slightly different to other places you find in Thailand. I'm really liking the thicker rice noodles as well. I mean, I like the other noodles, but for this dish, for the soup, I think these thicker rice noodles are much better than the thin ones. Next up, and before I finish the noodles, I just want to show you the tea salad that's just dropped on the table. It looks very different to the tea salad I had when I was in Chiang Mai. This one's a lot more finely cut up. But we are close to the Myanmar border, so I wonder if it's from the same place or it is a more of a Chinese influence one. What can I see in there? I can see tomatoes. Looks like red and yellow, unless that is pepper. But I think it is tomato. Very finely cut tea leaf, as you can see. There's definitely chilies in there. It's like the blossom of either the tea leaf, no it can't be, it's like a blossom of some other herb and uh, probably garlic as well and then red onions. Let's, uh, let's give it a try. Here we go, tea leaf salad. Wow.
Giada de Chili. Very, very different tasting to the one I had at the Burmese restaurant. There's a bitterness which comes through from the tea leaf, more so than in the last one. But the flavor, it's almost meaty. Unless there is meat in there, maybe. Is there meat in this? <clears throat> in the tea leaf salad, is there moo? Yeah, moo. Moo? Yeah. Ah. That is why. <laughs> it tastes very meaty because there is meat in it, whereas the one I had last time was only vegetarian. But if I'm choosing one, it's this one. Very, very, very tasty. Rye, no rye? Mm. Rye, cow or mine? Chai. Oh no. Oh. She's right. It needs some rice. <clears throat> but what I love about this dish is the texture, the acidity, the balance, the sweetness. You have the sourness in there, you have the spice from the chilies, saltiness from the fish sauce that goes in there, I presume. And then you have the soft tomatoes, and then, I don't know what actually gives it the texture, but there's actually a crunchier texture in there, which makes it a super interesting salad to eat. And I just know it's gonna go really nicely with the rice, so I'll Save this, and I'll finish the noodles whilst the rice comes. Right, oh, yeah. the rice is already here. Cop and cop. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hot, hot, yeah. Let's try it with some rice. <clears throat> just spoon, just spoon some of that salad Spicy onto the okay? rice. Spice. Okay, mate. I could have more. More, yeah. Oh. So I add more of this. Maybe after so long in Thailand, my spice level is growing. Okay, with the rice. Mm. The rice just rounds out all of those flavors. Very, very delicious dish and a very delicious meal. And an unsuspecting meal. I was just walking past earlier when she called out, like I say. And here I am, having yet another delicious meal in Thailand. And I guess, like with the last video, <clears throat> it goes to show you, having a loose plan, as I'm gonna say that, because I do plan a lot when it comes to food, because I really do enjoy eating good food. Uh, having a loose plan also, is also helpful, right? Sometimes you just get a feeling that a place is going to be good. And as soon as she started talking to me, I knew this place was going to be good. Okay, the light is fading rapidly. And to be honest, I just want to enjoy this meal with a nice atmosphere and having a chat. So I will leave how much it cost at the bottom here. And I'm gonna sit and enjoy this meal. And I will see you guys in the morning for the hike to the temple.